We live in a day and age where our electronic devices are an integral part of our everyday lives. What's inside of them that makes them do everything that we need them to do? I'm Joe Levi, and on this episode of Pocket Now Power User, we're going to talk about another very important component, RAM. When talking about the memory that goes into our smartphones, tablets, wearables, and even our computers and routers and other stuff that enable our digital life, there are essentially two kinds of memory that we want to talk about. There's long-term storage, sometimes called non-volatile storage, sometimes erroneously called ROM, and then there's RAM, or random access memory, or just memory. These two things, that's also volatile, by the way. These two things are really what gets us all of our data that stores it and lets us use it. The CPU that we talked about last week processes it and makes that data do stuff. So what is data? Data is information. It's bits. It's ones and zeros. It's your usernames and passwords stored in a secure location. It's your configurations. It's the orientation of the icons on your home screen. It's the apps that you have installed. It's the information that you've created, the documents that you've created, uh, the cached files. It's, it's a lot of stuff. So don't just think when I say data, I'm thinking about documents because data is ones and zeros and it's everything that you need to make your device do what you need it to do. Well, you don't want to have to worry about losing that data when you lose your power. So let's jump in the Wayback Machine and I've got an example to share with you. Way back in the Windows CE days, this predates Windows Mobile, Pocket PC, and all of that stuff, okay? The Palm Top PC days, Microsoft did something weird. They had a good reason for it. You see, back in those days, non-volatile memory, non-volatile storage was relatively slow not quite as slow as a hard drive with its rotational media, or maybe slower depending on who you asked, but slow. Now for a PDA, something that you carried around in your hand, too slow. RAM on the other hand was quite a bit faster, but it's volatile. When you turn the power off to it, all the information in it goes away. Just as simple as that. What you do, you'd get your brand new device, you'd charge up the battery, you'd turn it on and start setting things up. You'd put in your usernames, your passwords, you'd configure it, you'd start installing apps onto it, and hopefully you wouldn't forget to charge it up or somehow run out of battery. Because if you did, you had a coin cell battery as a backup. And that coin cell was there just to keep all of the data in RAM, which remember, that's all of your apps, all of your data, all of your configurations, everything. It had to keep that alive. And if that coin cell went out, you got to set your device up all over again. Luckily, that's not the world that we live in today. Technology has increased and improved, but one thing has stayed the same. Running apps out of RAM instead of out of long-term or non-volatile memory is a lot faster. So, you need a lot of RAM. Apps are getting bigger every day. More features more resolution. Remember those 2K screens and 4K screens and 28.8K screens that we're talking? Okay, we're not talking about those. The more bits that you have, the higher resolution imagery you need to support those colors and those pixels on your screens. That takes up a lot more storage space, takes more processing power. Yeah, you see how it's all interconnected here? Basically, you want as much RAM as you can have. So when you go down the spec list and you're looking at all of the things on there, if you see two gigabytes of RAM, you're good. If you're a really, really power user, and you see three gig of RAM, you're golden. That's where we are today. That's what you need to know about the RAM line on the spec sheet when you're considering your next smartphone or tablet. If you like the information that you saw here, give the video a thumbs up and make sure that you've subscribed so that you don't miss out on the next episode of the Pocket Now Power User. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And for Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>